Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. It's time to see what tower number two has in store for us. And now I gotta break through these blocks again as I exited the place, but this door is still open. So here we are. And so we've got a bunch of technology. This stuff looks quite familiar, doesn't it? Hmm, did you hear that? It was something. It was something up ahead. Hey! Wow! Rocket! I want to fly to the moon too! And that's Kitty's excitement of the day. So there's another rocket. So what would happen if I were to press up on the rocket? Oh, we're flying to the moon! Woo! And yeah, we're literally on the crystal moon, which is the actual final area of the game. And we got some donut type of blocks. Yeah, when you stand on them, they disappear. New star kind of enemy. This one likes to charge at you and shoot stars at you. It's two hits to kill. Alright, climb up. I need to see what is up ahead to be able to react to it. Isn't there another star guy up there? Mm, yeah. Where is the other star guy? Because that other star guy really gets in the way. Dang it. Do not grip onto the wall. Arr. Come on. Uh oh. Shoot up there. Now move over here. That would be. Oh, that works. Okay. Huh. Now I can safely go up. Well, as safely as you can in this place, anyway. As I said, this is the hardest area in the game, so be very careful. Don't go above. Oh! That works. Just as long as you get him high enough that he doesn't go in the ground when it's done firing, you know, the star guys, he'll be okay for it to not shoot at you. And... Uh-oh. Gotta get over running jump. Mm, yeah! Oh, not enough speed. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna fail. Oh, Ninja Boy! Why? Uh, this is a platform that goes... Oh, jeez, it's one of these things. That's not friendly. Oh! Almost got shot by a star bullet. I'm just gonna do this. And... Get hurt! And make it to a save point, hopefully. I think it's beyond this door. Yes! Alright. We got ourselves... A trial here. There are three doors with three orbs that you need to collect to open this wall. All of them... Are extremely difficult. <laughs> So, let's just start with any one, I suppose. Alright, here we go. For some reason, fast kitties can't use their the hack glide move, so you can't glide in this area. Here we go. Super fast kitty movement, go! And just remember that if you're gonna come short on a jump, uh, press right on the wall to grab onto it so you can pull yourself up. And you should be fine through this segment. Whoa! I guess this is probably the easiest of the, the three doors, I suppose. There we go. Whew. First orb. Yeah, that, that wasn't too bad, actually. Maybe it was just my uh, first couple of runs through the game that I had issues with it. Now, now you see that the door has an orb above it, and you don't have to get that one anymore. So let's go over to the next door. Oh, no. Oh, this one. Maybe I should do this one last. Lead him up there, or... Oh, get up there. No! This lava's one hit kill. <laughs> That's why I should probably do that one last. It's a really tough platforming segment. All right, and this one is a battle arena. Gotta kill all the enemies. Gotta survive. Gotta win. Oh, don't go on the floor. That's why you want them to be far enough away from the ground so that you can safely kill them off like that. Oh no! You must save all the energy you can for this diabolical room of death. Alright... Oh, ninja boys. No! Oh, I wasn't paying attention to above me! Uh, I think these are bombs. Yeah, they're bombs! Oh. <laughs> oh, shoot. This segment can be a little bit tricky because you're jumping at these guys when they are above you. Yeah... So, what you should do to bait them into shooting their stuff is to do something like that. Only do it when you're moving over to the other platform and you successfully get to that side, which I'm not doing very well. <laughs> there we go. Voila. I'm gonna do the same with that one. Alright, regenerates. And... Yeah, there we go. 
What's this? Bombs plus stars plus ninja boys. A combination from Hades. Oh! <laughs> and oh, health. That's very nice. Jump or rockets! Yeah, that one you won't know what's coming until it hits you. That's a little unfair in all honesty. <laughs> No, I gotta position them under me if at all possible. Oh, dang it. Good, good. Oh, close. Too close for comfort. Yes, got it. All right. One hit away from death. But a win is a win. <laughs> now, one more door. This one could very well be the death of me. <laughs> The chances of you getting through this is... Oh shoot, I already failed. <laughs> you gotta do everything, well, everything at the beginning at least, just perfectly. Just go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go faster, 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 and get him off to the side. Use that to get up there. Don't care about the... Oh! No, I was gonna say I don't care about the bottle rocket hit, but I guess I do care if it stops my momentum entirely. <laughs> oh. Great start, PK Gam. <laughs> it's, it's just, uh, you have to play it to believe how fast you have to go on here, which is why I'm trying to rush things as best as I possibly can to get through each obstacle. Ah! Because that lava is really on your heels. Okay. No ninja boy. Bad ninja boy! <laughs> it's always in my way and... Oh, star boy might be in my way too. Oh, that was too much! No! Oh, oh, no! Oh, goodness! Gracious great balls of cat food. And I need... I need more time to get running distance here. Yes! No! <laughs> I think I have a shot at making this, though. I'm doing well. Well enough, at least. Got the orb. Get to the door. Yes! Actually made it. Save. Save! Ah! Save! <laughs> Alright, that wasn't too bad, after all. Now this opens up, and I can go to... the final stretch. Came after me, eh? But it doesn't matter. My cannons will take care of you. After all, I'm a real engineer with a diploma. <laughs> so after you pass this point, cannons will start appearing from. Wait, where is the cannons? The, the, oh, there it is. <laughs> the cannons only shoot where you are, not necessarily where you're going. So that's how they work. And the cannon itself doesn't hurt you if it touches you. Just the cannonball. So. Oh! I failed! So be mindful of that as it really helps you determine how to dodge the cannonballs, basically. Alright, let's go try it again. I'm gonna ignore the dialogue whatsoever. <laughs> you can talk all you want, but I'm getting ahead of this. Well, I'm still gonna try and manipulate the cannon to do my bidding, because it's gonna get in my way otherwise. And that's oh, kind of the point of the cannon. The, the most danger the cannon has really is the... Oh, I fail on my glide! Is the fact that it can knock you into the one-hit kill death area, so... Yeah! <laughs> Just gotta be mindful of that. Go, kitty, go! Stretch those paws! Well, it's legs and paws, but still... Uh... That was a pretty good run. Oh yeah! Fantastic run, ow! Maybe not that fantastic, but good enough. And the cannon will stop pursuing you at about here. But, there's a different cannon coming up. It's a triple cannon, and you don't know which of those will fire. Yeah! It's kind of random, so... This can screw you over. So you definitely want to have a hit here if you, if you can. But this first jump, gotta get full speed to get up here. We'll always wait for a cannon to fire before you progress, just to make sure. Nope. Yes. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Gotta be careful. 
Put my D-pad next to walls. Okay, oh no! You sneaky snake. You sneaky snake. I hope I lost it. Like I despawned it or something, that would be nice. Okay. That's good positioning. Oh, I need a running jump here. Alright. Go, kitty, go! Don't shoot the upper one. No. <gasps> don't like this segment. Oh, don't like the bombs. Uh, I hope I didn't screw myself here. <laughs> oh, I kind of did. Yep, it's a pretty difficult area. Probably more difficult than those three doors, actually. Alright, kitty. Run and jump, run and jump, like you've never run and jumped before. Ran and jumped, I should say. No! Bad cannon. Oh, I don't have the right speed to get through that now. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, gotta get the momentum back. Gotta get the momentum back. There we go. It's definitely easier to just run ahead of the cannonballs if you can. Oh! Because they tend to... Oh, shoot. I shouldn't have had that one on screen. Because they tend to lag behind to the point that you can safely just keep running forward. Alright. No, 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 no. By the way, this is the last segment before um, a save point and then a final boss. So... It's tough, tough it out. Gotta make it through it, no matter how much the odds are against you. Fall, please. Oh, no! Don't shoot. Oh, ugh. Concentrate. Oh, jeez. Starboy, you're going down. Yes! Okay. Upper one would be fine, but the lower one is good, too. The middle one... Just gotta keep watching for the flash. And be the flash. You will be a swift kitty. You will win this. You have two hits. And, oh, jeez, it's that long jump. I don't like the combination of... Oh, that plus that. That's a rather mean segment. Okay, I'm gonna just keep keep my forward momentum. Good. This is how you're supposed to do it. At least that's the way I do it. And save. Final boss time. So I guess I am finishing this walk through this part. <laughs> Unless some technical issue happens or something, which would suck. Back to the entrance. No, thank you. <laughs> So here we are. So, you made it up here. Are you a boy or a girl? <laughs> you know, come to think of it, a lot of the characters in this game, you can't tell their gender just by their appearance. You know, like, you can usually tell when someone um, aims to say a girl character if they have like a bow or something, or if, if they're a guy, they have a beard or something, but you can't really tell a lot of the characters in this game anyway. Oh, shut up. Does it really matter? I'm evil. That's all you need to know. And you know, that statement is actually a little bit more deep than it actually sounds like at first, because that, it really is true. Judge a person for what they do, not what they look like or whatnot. Can I ride that robot? <laughs> Kitty, dang it, keep your mind on the prize. No, but I'll let you take a look at the blueprint of my project. Okay. There, isn't this fantastic? Especially the caricature of myself. <laughs> and he actually shows you the blueprint. That's not really much of a blueprint. Once my super magnet is complete, I can cause super huge tidal waves. You earthlings will be at my mercy. <laughs> so, I guess these are all alien guys. But, we kitties hate water. What? Kitty, but you swim just fine. And you jump, forget it. So, you really want to fight me, eh? Well, okay. Here I come. So, final boss. I guess it's G2A. Because as, as it says on the thing there. Uh, it's got this attack, which it shoots these inverting color orbs. And you just gotta dodge them. But yeah, it's not too hard to dodge them. It can also jump, uh, hit, throw its head at you. It can shoot lightning. It can shoot at you from the ceiling. Or I should say... Uh, jump, or not, I mean, bounce at you from the ceiling by attaching itself with that uh, tank-like apparatus to the ceiling. It's a very versatile little critter, but you gotta wait for it to do this attack right here. Alright. 
Okay, when it goes down on the ground, watch out for falling blocks. Charge up. Attack! Now look out for the tank, otherwise it's gonna hurt you. There we go. It's It doesn't hurt you when it's on the ground, like the, the tank treads, but when they're falling down, they do. Alright, it hasn't done the lightning attack yet, but it probably will. The lightning attack comes from the mouth as well, so just gotta be wary of that. As long as you keep moving when the mouth glows, you won't get hit by the lightning. Alright, look out for the crosshair because it's gonna shoot at you or uh, move its head towards you to try and hurt you. Uh, well, aha! That's the difference between the lightning attack is that it glow the mouth glows more. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I have a shot. I have a shot. Look for blocks, falling blocks of death. Because of oh, I was pointing the other way, seriously? That's how I managed to mess up my opportunity because I flipped around on the D-pad. Oh, I get another one right away. Okay, thank you. Yep. Fall block, fall. Just don't want to be hit by a block. There. The blocks are by far more dangerous than the tank and the head stomp itself because the blocks are much more random. Dang it! <laughs> I mean, when you're waiting for it to um, make itself vulnerable, basically. Alright, fall down. Thank you. Wait for the block. Oh, there we go. The block can. Oh, shoot! I was a little too low there. You have to hit the capsule where he's sitting in. <sighs> no, you don't. Okay, this this uh, multi-bubble laser shot thing always seems to go around in a counterclockwise direction. So that helps to make it a little more predictable, I suppose. Come on, make yourself vulnerable. That's what all bosses are supposed to do. <laughs> it's kind of a part of your nature. By the way, if you find a safe spot, uh, when it's doing this attack, you can just stand there and you'll be able to, to wait it out easily. Okay. Come on. Get yourself up at the ceiling. Good boy. Good boy. Fall down. Wait for the block. Okay. Doing well. Gotta look up for the bombs. Bombs pop out every once in a while, but they aren't all that threatening. Okay. Go down. Just don't let yourself be in the charge position while a block is falling above your head, otherwise you're going to take a hit from it. You just you just don't have the time to get yourself out of the way when you're charging up like that. It's also got that attack, which is the first time it's used it, oddly. It, it usually does it more than that. Okay. I think this is the last hit. Yes! I hate you so much! I probably should get out of here now. Well, that's what Kitty said. <laughs> Not glasses. Alright. There's a little bit more. The whole world is blowing up. Gotta hurry. No, don't go that way. You don't have- you don't- there's like no time limit to it, but you definitely don't want to stick around here for too long. Because there's a lot of stuff going on here. <laughs> Alright. And the game is beat once you press up at that rocket. Woo! So what, five parts for this? <laughs> it's a really short game, but it's it's really fun. We're all staring at... Just like Kitty. <laughs> oh, what's that? And the moon blows up. <laughs> and so Majora's Mask never happened. Which makes this the greatest ending for any game ever, because that means the game didn't exist in my headcanon. <laughs> and now they're praising Kitty. <laughs> and that's that, I suppose. Man, what a poopy lame ending. <laughs> no, not really. Majora's Mask didn't happen. Still, I hope you had fun playing my first game. Indeed I did. Let's see how well you did. 20 out of 20 money bags, you're the best! Thanks, go for, go go out to find my colleagues at www.com. Comments, complaints, and email me at email at Lot to say in a short amount of time there. Thanks and bye. Goodbye, Bernie, and thank you for making this awesome game. He made it in two weeks, and uh, it's definitely very short, but it's quite polished for being um, a, a game made in just two weeks. I'm quite impressed by a game made in that span so quickly. And with that, the walkthrough is over. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next walkthrough.